My name is Ralph Ferguson. I teach history at Western Carolina University and I'm on the board of the Appalachian Women's Museum. We've been working on a lot of projects recently and one of the projects that we're currently working on is transforming this room that we're sitting in into an exhibit that highlights the music of the Southern Appalachian region. There are a lot of wonderful women musicians uh, from Southern Appalachia and this community alone, Jackson County is very proud to have Samantha Bumbrunner as um, uh, one of the women who grew up here and was a pioneer in Southern Appalachian music. She was a pioneer banjo player. Uh, Mary Jane Queen also grew up in Jackson County. And one of my fondest memories is actually being able to sit in Mary Jane Queen's living room with her family and listen to them play music uh, before she passed a few years ago. Uh, we wanna bring that experience to the people who visit our museum. And so our vision for this particular room, for this particular exhibit, is to transform it into a turn of the century music parlor. Um, there was uh, a woman named uh, Ella Virginia Richards Madison, uh, who was the wife of the first president of Western Carolina University, who in her home on the campus of Western Carolina had a music parlor. And she performed music in the parlor, she taught music classes, and she would invite people to come and perform. Uh, we have photographs of that parlor and we're attempting to recreate this room in that image. Uh, some of the women that we're going to highlight are of course Samantha Baumgartner, uh, Mrs. Madison, Mary Jane Queen, but we're also a museum of the entire Southern Appalachian region. So we're also going to highlight some of the women musicians from the entire region from uh, the northern reaches of Appalachia down to uh, North Carolina and Georgia. Uh, so we're excited about the direction that this exhibit can take and um, hopefully in a few weeks, a few months perhaps, we'll be open to the public and you all can come and see it for yourself. So to give you an idea of the kinds of music that you'll see or, and that you're here performed at the museum, we're really excited to have such a close working relationship to a local musician named Susan Pepper. Susan is an incredible talent and so here she is performing a few songs that you might hear when you visit the museum. I gave my love a cherry that had no stone. I gave my love a chicken that had no bone. Gave my love a baby with no crying. I told my love a story that had no in the Appalachian Women's Museum. To find more information about volunteering with us, please visit www.appwomen.org. That's A-P-P-Women.org. And you can also email us at friends at appwomen.org. We hope that you stay safe, and we'll see you soon.